Hi everybody, it's Jennifer and I am late as usual on my monthly favorites. So for the month of April, I just wanted to share with you some things that uh, my friends have asked questions about and I'd rather just tell everybody what I use. So keep watching. So let's start with the beauty stuff. Okay, so what I really enjoyed for the month of April is the Revlon Age Defying Foundation and the Revlon Age Defying Setting Powder. Both of these are absolutely wonderful as far as uh, it's like a medium coverage but once it sets it looks like natural healthy skin. I don't know any other foundations that just melt into my skin as nicely as that foundation has and it leaves my skin not dull or um, cakey looking it really looks like I just have nice healthy clear skin so I top it off with the age defying powder and I love the consistency of this powder. It feels like soft butter, like silk. It's definitely not chalky, not gritty. I bought this at the same time uh, with the Maybelline uh, new face powder and that does not hold a candle to this one. This one is even more finely milled and more buttery and more soft. So these two together are my absolute favorites as far as drugstore foundation and drugstore powder. These I highly, highly recommend. I love it. Okay, my next favorite is the Scandinavia 10 Years Younger Makeup Finishing Spray. Oh, I didn't spray any on right now. So let's see, 10 years younger, right? Did it work? <laughs> so anyway, so this is a really nice setting spray because it leaves a nice dewy finish to your skin. So after putting all the powders and foundation, I like putting this on top because it makes my skin uh, more dewy and more fresh looking. So that's what I think what they mean by 10 years younger. I think that's a strong statement. Uh, to put on a bottle but as far as uh, the setting spray I think that my makeup holds up for at least a good six hours and I think that this is a really good uh, product so I do recommend it 10 years younger by Scandinavia and I know that there's another one out there uh, that's also called 10 years younger I think it's by Motives Cosmetics I'm not sure if it's the same exact ingredient uh, just relabeled but this one I like a lot and then as far as uh, eyeshadow palette now you know by now uh, I dedicate an eyeshadow palette once a month I just stick to that palette as much as I can throughout the whole month and the eyeshadow palette that I used all month is the Kat Von D Monarch palette and I got this during the Sephora uh, sale at the beginning of the month and I gotta be honest with you I almost have all these colors if you own the Kat Von D Ladybird palette and the Lorac Pro palette as well as um, the Lorac uh, Stylist palette all these colors are in there and so I was going to return this because I already have those palettes and the colors are the same. Uh, quality is the same. Th these are really good quality uh, eyeshadows. I, I'm wearing these eyeshadows right now. And the reason why I really did enjoy this palette is because I can honestly say it's a complete palette. I don't have to go to other eyeshadows and other palettes or separate pots 
uh, to do different looks like to highlight my brow bone to uh, put a base color all of that is here you have your base colors uh, eyebrow highlighter um, you have other matte finish colors here to to make a nice base as well and some shimmers for the extra pop on the lower lid so that's why I highly recommend this palette if you already own the Ladybird and the Lorac Pro palette maybe you could skip this palette as, as far as buying it but if you don't own the Ladybird palette or the Lorac Pro palette I think that this is a great palette so this was my favorite palette of the month and it's very buttery it's very blendable uh, the black is not the blackest of the black um, eyeshadows I've tried uh, see I have it on the outer corners but I also use the Maybelline color tattoos as I mentioned in the in my last month's uh, favorites how much I love these I use Maybelline color tattoos as the base uh, before putting on the powder shadows and that just makes the colors come out more vibrant so two, two, two of those together make a perfect match and uh, as far as blush I really enjoyed my Elizabeth Arden this is an oldie but goodie uh, this is Tara Rose number three by Elizabeth Arden and the reason why I love this color is because it's a muted almost bronzy plum and it's and it also has a little bit of shimmer flex in it and I'm wearing it right now and so for the summertime when I'm more tan this is a very nice complementary color uh, to a nice tan skin so this is a very nice blush uh, as far as mascara I've been loving these two drugstore mascaras together. Uh, I use the Rimmel Glam Eyes at, for my bottom lashes. I'm gonna get up close. But I don't like spidery, clumpy bottom lashes. I like them defined, but I don't like them clumpy. Um, if they start to clump, I will take it all off and start all over again. But I have not had a problem once with using this Rimmel London Glam Eyes because the formula doesn't clump it thickens, it curls, it lengthens and I just love it for just my bottom lashes this is a great mascara the other mascara that I truly am enjoying because my lashes are very stubborn they grow downwards and upwards like a Venus flytrap and this CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume in the orange tube. Now I have the waterproof one because I have allergies. My eyes are pretty watery. Uh, so because of my allergies, I always get the waterproof versions. Um, this one I really do like because it holds a curl. Uh, I curl my eyelashes with the Shu Imara eyelash curler and then I layer this on as my base no matter what other mascaras I use. Uh, on top of it to add more volume but this is always a staple for me because it holds a curl really really well especially for stubborn lashes that grow downward so I highly recommend that one um, last but not least uh, I recommend this little gadget right here this is the Sephora bullseye and what it is it is an a uh, false eyelash holder so you put your false eyelash in the middle and it has like a silicone grip in between the tweezers so the eyelashes don't slip around and you can apply the glue and then put it right onto the center of uh, the top of your lid and it just you know it makes it so much easier to apply false lashes especially if you are new to putting on false lashes or if you have a shaky hand uh, that can also be a problem if you have a shaky hand I think that this is a really good gripper 
to uh, apply false lashes. So this is at Sephora, it's called Bullseye, and uh, it's about $12. And so far it's becoming a really good handy tool. So that's everything that I have enjoyed for the month of April. And thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up this video, I highly appreciate it. And if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel, it's free. Uh, you can also connect with me on Instagram. I'm pretty much on that every day, almost every hour. So thank you so much for watching. Till next time.